What's going on everybody? It is Luke here again bringing you another beautiful video preparation for Q4. Actually this will be uh, episode 4 of my Q4, I don't know, whatever you want to call it to be honest, Q4 bit do stuff to get sales series. <laughs> so what we're going to be talking about here is how do you use Sellerboard to predict not only when Q4, the, the rush of Q4 could uh, start, but predict things like how many, you know, how many units you're selling sort of through the year and then how much it might increase and what sort of products are going to be selling over the period as it sort of transitions through 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 October, through November, through December. You know, does it change? Does it stay the same? Uh, what sort of volume um, can we expect in terms of, will one week we suddenly sell 10 and then like suddenly like Q4 is there and then next week you're selling 2,000 or something? It's like preparing for stock stock flow because you need to make sure that you know you're in stock you don't want to be like oh that's wait till q4 then like smash the stock levels because it's normally too late by then so we're not only going to start off by show up i'm going to go over my my previous years of celebrity so you're going to see everything um and that way i can show you if i go back to 2017 my first q my first serious q4 i'll show you everything all the unit all the products are in all the sort of quantities the the, the amount i've made all that sort of thing, and at least you'll get a first, you know, like a first person. Is that right? Third person? Oh, whatever. Uh, you'll get you'll get to see exactly what happened when Q4 started, uh, what I was selling over that period, what I was selling before that period, and just what you can do is you can use this information. Um, you know, definitely if you sold on Amazon for over a year, you can use Sellerboard, even if you didn't have it then, to go back and look at your past sales. And the past, you know, accumulated total sales through Europe and all that, um, to give you a good picture of where the future lies. You know, like the best things you learn from the past and you adapt them for the future to benefit yourself and you know, hopefully have better results. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump straight through into this. And again, if you haven't got set board, you can register free for one month. Direct directly through this, like just going to sellerboard.com, or if you want two months free, then use my uh, affiliate link. It's going to be either on the bottom of this page, the YouTube, or it be in the Facebook group. Um, sign up there. Worst case, sign up for two months. If you don't like it, or you just want to use it for this reason, you just want to use it for you know Q4 to get to sort of optimize yourselves. Then awesome. If not, by like, after this two months, just cancel if you don't really want to use it. And then otherwise, it's something like like. Fifteen pound a month, so or eighteen pound a month. So it's not even a lot, uh, and I've, I get a lot of value from it. Not just using it to show me what I do day to day, but using it to um, plan what I'm going to be doing in the future, uh, like stock, you know, quantities and and what's good, what's not, and and all that sort of thing. So let's just jump right through and we we'll get started. So boom. So I've gone back to my very first Q4. Uh, I sold in December 2016 for like that was my first month, but this is my first full quarter. You can see here now. Ig ignore the net profit and all that sort of thing because if you look down here, some of the uh, cost of goods is empty because I didn't use Sellable back then, so I've not actually like entered the, the details because this is no point now. Um, but you get to see, you know, I, my first Q4 I did 80, 81, 835. Yeah. Now the reason I'm not using last year's is because like 2018's. Figures is because I do sell, you know, a handful of those products still, uh, and it, it's just going to start, yeah, getting a bit annoying if I have to like cover stuff up. So it's better just to give you the clean, the clean version. Yeah, it's a little old, but it's by no means really that old, is it? You know, it's two years, but a lot of products and a lot of things, you know, like sort of habits don't change in two years. Um, so whatever is probably selling then is probably selling now. The same sort of product, the same sort of items, and, and so on, and so on. Same brands and all that. So you can see here, AC1, and that's between the first of October and the thirty first of December. Perfect. That's all we need to see. So now you get a good picture here. Yeah. Now, just as an example, just to see what the previous three months to that would have been. So we've got uh, July, August, September. Uh, so we could do that to this thing uh so 81 what is it or 82 or whatever it was to to zero that's not going to work for some reason that's not worked hmm, that's really interesting all right we scrap that didn't we didn't even need we didn't actually need that information that's why i've never checked i didn't check until just now if it worked it's sort of irrelevant i just wanted to give you a comparison in terms of q3 to q4 but 
it's going to be a pain in the ass. And then we just sort of crack on as we were. Maybe it's locked me out or something. No, I don't know. Right. Anyway, back to this. 17, 18. Ah, maybe. No, no, I'm just trying to think. What are we at? 18, 17. I was just trying to think if I was actually selling in that, at that period. You sort of lose track when you're selling on that, but then how many years you've been doing it for. Right. So now you. So, okay, let's go down. Let's have a quick look what I was selling. So I've gone. I did a video on this like last year. I keep talking about this Star Wars. Beat. This, this is the same as this item here. So I sold 171 in that period of that and plus the. What's that? 171 plus, what was it? 43. Oh, I do stuff on a calculator all the time. I don't know why this is doing in my head. But 214 units, yeah. And it was selling at, well, you can sort of see, actually, I actually did input. Oh, I, I think I was selling this last year. That's probably why it's got that price. But you can see um, what I did just for that. And that was just a, that was specifically a Q4 product. And if you really want to just see it, um, I don't think Argos sell it anymore. Yeah, you know, it's three years on, two years on, however many years on, it's still exactly the same product. Um, and if you just go to like the year, or you go to all, you can just look at every Q4. Oh, it doesn't take a genius to see December 6th here, December 15th here, and then like December, you know, you can just look at that. Look at like, it's ranked like awesome, basically. I mean, when are you see 3,000, you would think, yeah, that's great, but it's not amazing, amazing. Well, yeah, it is. It sells like 40 a day because at Christmas, that is that is how it works sometimes. You just these sort of products you could sell 20 30 a day not really you know and sometimes you can even do double that if you if you get lucky with the buy box obviously it's just sort of a, a, an algorithm that sort of gives you at a certain times doesn't guarantee that anyone's going to actually go on and buy at that point and then some days you will get that the people that go on will buy at that point so it's, it's just it's more of an average accumulated average i would say uh, and you get to see here, I've got some Lego bits, I've got some DVDs here, I've got a hairdryer and some beauty products, some Skylanders and Legos. Lego, 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 board game, Legos, Lego, 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 like Iron Man, Gauntlets or something, Razor, a couple of games and some bits and bobs, yeah. Okay, so you're looking at this, now you're like, okay, well, what, what was the difference between, you know, what are we now? Uh, October, as of today's video, it's 11th of October. So, okay, let's see what October was like. So if we got an 81, let's say it's 82,000, just to round it up a little bit. Um, if that is what for three months is, then what was October? Because if we're going to try to use this information to benefit us for now, let's have a look at October. Is it, you know, is it what I would expect October to, be, to show? So we go here and we go to October. So remember, it was like eighty-two thousand, just as a just to sort of memorise. And look what I did: fourteen thousand one hundred and eighty-three. Yeah. So if you minus that, that's just minus the fourteen two hundred. There's sixty-seven thousand eight hundred pound in sales that happened after October. Yeah. So even if you divide that by two, you say November and December week or month. I was doing thirty thirty-three thousand nine hundred pounds, or I say thirty-four uh, thirty-four thousand, just to round up the hundred pound. Um, I was doing 34 on average over the next two months. Yeah, 34,000 compared to 14,000 or 14,200 in October. So you see, and you know, if you're looking at the units as well, for example, you could expect like two and a half X in, in the units. So instead of me selling 600 uh, units, orders, units, yeah, let's go to units. We're just going to times the units by 2.5. That's just, this is just a, like rough hand. That's one and a half thousand units a month on average. Of course, it's not quite like that. Normally, the, the 30 day period between, let's say, the 20th of November and the 20th of December, that's pretty much the, the busiest time, as you would expect. Um, you know, people are getting paid at the end of November. Well, they're not getting probably another paycheck until almost by, you know, what is it? You normally get paid just a, a little bit early, it's not all the time, but a little bit early, maybe on the 20th or something. So people get last minute sort of bits then. But the majority will happen between you know, the 20th or the 23rd, that sort of that sort of time, the last Friday of, of, of the period. Um, it doesn't necessarily always relate to sales because people can do it on the credit card, pay it off and all that sort of thing. They might already have some savings and so on. But you get, that. that's the sort of foundation I'll, I'll go off I, the date wise, like the dates that I'll use. So, okay. We saw this, so back to what we were saying. If it was eighty-two thousand, well, let's look at November's as well. So we're going to minus this fourteen two hundred, just 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 to get rid of October. So we've got sixty-seven thousand eight hundred pounds. Well, where's 
where is that fall compared to the other months? Yeah, so let's go and jump, 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 jump. You know, I mean, this is you know, this is a relatively simple thing, of course, but not everyone will think about doing something like this because they'll, you know, a lot of people will go sell boards for looking at your daily sales, and that's all they do. You know, so here you go. So from fourteen thousand two hundred, it's gone to twenty eight thousand. It's almost basically it's doubled. It's doubled. The units haven't. Mm, but they nearly double, but not quite. So you can see here that October is sort of a standard month, you know, 14,000. It's a pretty much a standard month because you can see the difference that November. So, so something seriously happened in November, in November in terms of sales to increase. Yeah, I could have had more uh, capital available and all that, but you can, you know, you can buy as much as you buy, but people have to buy it. Yeah. So and this is a clear correlation from for the dates or the season or November as as sales and then just to look if we minus the what was it 20 28 so I'm from the 67 800 that's actually see if this works because I want to make sure this you know we've got like 39k around that sort of range for December well if it's not then it's clearly a load of crap and I'll have to redo the video awesome that'll be a really nice uh, end to my Friday right December the 1st Let's see yeah, there we go. Beautiful. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Otherwise, this is going to have to be uh, put in a recycle bin and start again. 39,400. Yeah, so I put I had 39,500, but I mean, fully colored rounding. So now you can see again from, what was it, 20? Uh, so it would be 14, 28 grand. I did another 11,000 something in December. Now, of course, as you know, as you get to the, the 23rd of December, you know, that's whatever the last day of uh, Prime is, for the next day delivery, of course, your sales are going to just disappear. Now, they're not going to literally disappear to zero for every single day after that, but if they're season, seasonal toys, well, you know, have a quick look here, toy, 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 toy. and I pretty much really sold toys in my first year, uh, and, and you can, you could just, you know, you can either go really wide or you can go deep or you can do everything. It's just, there is no right, and it's almost like you don't have to be as um, uh, refined uh, in terms of your strategies you don't have to really be on point to be making money over q4 you just got to keep the very simple and basic strategies have the cash flow available plan it well plan you know the stock levels um, and and all that sort of thing and it's more about that than it is the actual product you're finding um, you know but yeah you can see here 39 so what we can clearly see is that each like October almost was just a standard month November and December was the best month but of course, to be selling, you know, and interesting that the units were about the same as November, so I must have just been buying higher value products. I think I probably, yeah, you can see here I sold this product here. So this product was selling at 44. Remember I told you that you know, I sold exactly the same item last year, and I don't think it even exists now. If it does, you've got a freebie here because I could not be bothered to. I could not be bothered to um, redo this video again. Well, not again, but like, you get what I mean. I don't think this uh, item actually exists anymore. If you type in BBA on um, rest in peace, my feline friend, just doing yeah, a little cross. Yeah, rest in peace, my BBA friend. But he's gone now. Uh, doesn't mean he won't appear somewhere else, another company or something that's selling. But yeah, not going to work. So that was that. Now you can see here, like, Obvious correlation, it is Q4, therefore the sales have changed. So now we know that it's real. Because what happens is a lot of people that are new to Amazon or maybe haven't really properly, might have had a Q4, but they haven't had a proper Q4 where they've really known, like, right, let's do this, 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 this. Everyone's saying this. A lot of people get to, like, the, you know, 6th of November and be like, oh, Christ, like, um, it's cute. Like, the end of Christmas is in, like, seven weeks and, like, nothing's happening. And they're like, oh, maybe I've got the wrong products. Maybe I'm just not as good as I thought. Maybe it's not going to happen this year. And just ignore all that. Like any of your any emotions or thoughts that you feel is irrelevant. Just kill it. Get a guillotine gone. Because like that, the the more emotion and thought you take to it, the worse your Q4 will be. Um, and so you need to trust the. I just say trust the data. And trust an accumulative, accumulative knowledge. So whatever knowledge you've sort of um, possessed or possessed, like gathered, that's it, gathered over the years from other people, bring it 
together, create your version of that information and then go off that. And that therefore is not you. That is like a hybrid mind, <laughs> so as you could you sort of picture it, of, you know, everybody. And also, I'm not going to do this video long because I found that no one watches long videos. And well, I do, but that's because I'm me. Um, so yeah, we're going to try to keep it in another five minutes. So then you might think, okay, but when does Q4 start? Like, it's all right showing me the months, but a month, you know, if there's only seven weeks of great sales and you're just showing me month to month, well, then I might miss half of it. But by the time I realize, I've, this has already happened. So, all right, I already prepared this in advance. So let's jump to November. So somewhere in November it starts. So we're going to go to the first. Uh, we're going to go to, we're going to do a seven day period. So the first to the seventh, yeah? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so that to that. So let's have a look at the sales, and then we're going to divide it. So my average is, uh, I see what the average is, 3,900 divided by 7, yeah? It's about 550 quid a day sales here. First seven days of November, okay? Now, if you want to really look at it, 3,900 times by four, roughly four weeks, is 15 grand. Or even if it's like 17 grand, because it's like an actual one or two, like it's not 28 days in the month, so add a couple in. That's still not the the, the figure that we were coming out with for the, the whole accumulated total of, of November. So where is, when does it start? Well, remember 3,900. And let's keep the ball rolling. Better, better, better. Eighth, is that right? I don't even know if I'm clicking the right buttons. Click and click, click, click. Oh, look, it's going up. Now, it's not massive. You know, it's like 650 quid. But let's have a look again. Oh, I keep doing this. Why am I being? I'm having an aneurysm. Right, got it. 15 to the 21st, because we've got 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Oh, look. £7,300 for the week. Now, just to remind you, 7300 Now, let's just do the one more, just, just while we're here. We're going to do the 28th. 7,000, what was it? 7,500, let's just say it's that. Um, 7,500, and it might be the same, but I'm guessing it's about, yeah, okay, it's not massive anymore, but a grand in a bit. Now, okay, we're going to use this period, so the 23rd of November to the 28th, yeah? One week. 8,400, that's what we use. We're then going to go back and look at two weeks before that, so 8,000, whatever I just said, 8,000, like, what's going on with me? Is it my age? into your 30s and you start losing it my god right eighth to the that's not quite what i wanted to do was it yeah the first was there so there was there so it's like that One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. yeah that's seven days so yeah see so you can now see and obviously if you went back even further you know as we did before that would be then so we're gonna go then to then is that right um, yeah, sorry, three, it didn't even load there. I thought, oh, yeah, so three eight three three nine. Well, you can clearly see now that as November progresses, there isn't suddenly just one day of crazy sales. Now, normally you'll find that it does. There is there is a catalyst. It's usually, like a, it depends when it falls. So if if this side of Monday, Black Friday stuff is is uh, you know that is a definite. So that's like um, a point in the calendar that is like no matter what, pretty much Christmas is going to be kicking off as of Black Friday, Cyber Monday. So whenever that date falls on Amazon, because it obviously changes. Um, but from this, you can see that the, what date was this? The, the first week of November isn't even that great. You know, that's 3,900 divided by the seven days. That's still like 550 quid. Which is, it's just, you know, it's just, of course it's good for some people who are newer, but then it's sort of a standard day for others. Um, but that's not really a Q4 effect. There's no Q4 effect there. It's, you know, even if it's a little bit, like you want Q4 to be more than a, double. So Q4 should be like five times better, you know, 10 times better, depending on what you're sell selling, your capital availability and what sort of thing. Well, here you can clearly see that if you jump to December, it is like five times better than this. So if we just do it literally a month to month, so 3,900, let's just see. I want to I do this. And we're going to we're going to try to find the, the, big, the best week in November. So it's quite difficult to actually choose it we're going to go for like i'll uh, probably normally it'll be like a uh, let's go for a when let's go for something like that i oh, know sorry uh, so it'd be like that wouldn't it that's a week so 3900 is that right yeah let's see it might be crap but we can figure it out Sixteen thousand. there we go 
So 3,000, so let's get that 16,400, which is that pretty much that figure. By 3,900, how much X is that? 4.2, so okay. We just got a 4.2 X from six weeks before. Okay, so if I already know, and I know that I didn't even get close to optimizing this Q4. This is my first Q4. I had no information, like I just went off my own knowledge, like literally no, nothing else. I had some, you know, there's obviously YouTube and that, you get ideas, you get little tips like sell toys, sell this, but you know, the sort of, the, the sort of number crunching bits in the background and the organization, the preparation is all like, it doesn't cost anything. There isn't really any tangible evidence that it's there, but it's there in your mind ready. And that's the valuable part about all of this, like that I, you know, all of these channels, everything I go on about. Um, you can you can see that, that, that there's a massive contrast, and I definitely know that I could have done like four times better than that, at least, or even up to ten times better. Obviously, cash flow is important. So if you haven't got the cash to buy and you're waiting for money, of course you're getting held up. No, then your stock goes down because you make you know sixteen and a half grand in a week of sales. Of course, you're not going to have as, as many units in stock. Therefore, the following week could have a knock-on effect. So you want to try to balance your um, you know balance that as best you can. Um, there isn't really a perfect way to obviously go about it because, you know, I would just say try to, re to get as much out as you can every day. And I know that some people have that sort of balance hell thing, but just just try, you know, even if you're getting a little bit, it, it all adds up and it can have a huge impact on just increasing sales over the period of Q4. But there we go. You can clearly see now, you know, just, just, to, just to show you, you know, I've got Skylander things, I've got some like Star Wars things, I've got some DVDs. You know, toys, toys, and this is my first Q4. I'm not like last year was very like so. Last year was actually the same, but I diversified into other areas. So I basically spread across like beauty, gifts, electronics. You know, all, you name it. But now for this year, I'm not only say that last year I probably fo I diverse to diversify too uh, widely, broadly, broadly, or whatever the hell it is. Don't even really care. <laughs> but um, too much, and therefore. Now I know what I'm going to be doing for this year, and I've already started um, buying stock for the. So I'm I'm slowly um, ramping up everything uh, in terms of money spent, quantities, uh, so the speed of shipments. It's all going, and I'm doing it now. I've been doing it since the beginning of the month. Um, getting in like toys that I don't even worry about selling until this period. Yeah, so I'm I'm buying stuff now, not worrying if it sells in like what two months or whatever it is. Yeah, two months. Um, because I know what the bigger picture is at the end. Uh, so not waiting for any particular moment. I'm already doing it. I'm all, you know, I'm, it doesn't matter when it happens to me because I'm going to be prepared for whenever it is, whatever day you go, whatever week it appears, I'm already ready. So that is the strategy. This is what you can use Sellerboard for. And of course you can use it just to look at, you know, you could, you could just, if you really wanted, you could go to a quarter that you could, you could go to the, your last quarter. So what was that? J July, August, September of this year. Just look at your overall quantities you're spending. Maybe you're like, oh, do you know what? that quant The units I'm selling of that product are far more than I even thought. And then you can start adapting that into your purchasing habits. And just where I showed you the 4.2x, even at the worst case, if you're buying, if this was selling 100, uh, like, you know, in Q3, I could just go, well, if I'm using a really, really, really simple, you know, mathematical equation, I'm going to go 98 times the 4.2 because it's 4.2 more times, you know, the 4.2 more sales uh, percentage, uh, 420% or whatever. I don't even know what it is. You know what I mean? Uh, so that's 406, 11, 46, oh, I'm losing it. 411 units that you may be able to sell over Q4 compared to Q3 just, just by using an average um, increase in, you know, overall like uh, data in, you know, inputs. So that then you can get an understanding like, okay, that's 411 per quarter, per quarter. Divide that by three, this obviously three months. Maybe you would wait it more in December, wait it more in November and slightly less in October. That's 140 units, um, you know, each month on an average. Uh, how much is that per week? Well, that's 20 units. Well, now I roughly know I need at least to be buying 20 units every week instead of buying maybe 10. And it's just little things like that which help the big picture. Q4 to me is one month. I treat it as like a one, one year. It's like one year, one month one set of accounts or not you know, not literally not legally and stuff but like I, I won't worry about any particular week any particular month because i know that it, as an accumulated total as long as i do what i know that i need to do it'll be amazing gonna leave it there everyone 25 minutes 
one of my shortest videos ever awesome hopefully i have more views because no one really seems to watch my two hour long um droney ones but um gonna leave it there have a great day see you on the next one bye